So another really useful feature that we've included in the latest version of Bet Angel is the ability to display uh, information at the top of the letters. Now, that sounds a bit boring, but actually this gives you the ability uh, to display pretty much anything you like. So there are standard things that you can put up there, some of which are on the ladder when you first look anyhow. Um, but there is no limit to what you can display there. So, for example, if you wanted to do some complex calculation that gives you a, like a fantastically brilliant um, entry signal, then you can actually do that through the automation. You can add, multiply, subtract uh, different numbers, different metrics and things that you see within the market. And then BetAngel can display that for you at the top of the ladder. So the concept is that basically uh, decent quality information is getting pushed to you for display right in front of your very eyes. So if you wanted to know what the highest price was or how much it's moved since the highest price, if the volume's increasing, decreasing, uh, what the volume weighted average price is, um, what even what the price is on a different runner that you can't see or what that correlation is in price between uh, where the current price started and where it is now and what's happening in the rest of the market. I mean, there's basically unlimited amounts of information that you can display. So let me show how you can display it. Please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. If you're interested in learning to trade successfully on sports, then why not visit the Bet Angel Academy where we have more detailed videos. So when you're on the ladder area on Bet Angel, what you need to do is go to the ladder settings. So you can see we have the ladder settings here. This is different in older versions because we only have one settings tool. But of course, because of the upgrade that we did in version 151, the ladder settings are independent of the main settings. So click on that. That will bring up the ladder settings. You can see all of the options that you've got available uh, to modify um, and amend the ladder on this particular area here. Um, and each one of these tabs represents a different bits. So if we go to the additional information area, this will allow you to actually have a look and display additional information. So first of all, uh, in order to display it, you have to show the area. So if I tick on show the area, you can see uh, that it brings in an extra row there. Now you can have it with or without a border. And as we've done uh, with all of the other areas within BetAngel, if you want to change the color um, of certain aspects, of this, then you can amend it to whatever color uh, you prefer. So also you can see here it says row one. So um, you're not limited by um, what information, you could stack information. So you could do horse name, jockey, uh, volume weighted average price, the price two minutes ago, the price a minute ago, various other things. Um, but if we add those uh, rows in, can you see we build up like a, a custom area within there. Now some of you were going, oh God, there's a massive gap between the, the top and the bottom there. Well, go to the display order um, and then change that around. So put it at the top, uh, put it at the bottom, put it in the middle, uh, wherever you want to display it, you can display it. Um, I mean, for, for the purposes of what we're gonna do here, let me display it right at the very top. Um, I, it's funny, because I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, where would I put that? Because I tend to put uh, my information just on top of the ladder here. So, so maybe we'll do that. It's, it's up to you. I think it's you know, what I'm sort of trying to say to you here. Um, I'll delete a few rows as well and we'll rebuild them um, as appropriate. But basically when you add um, information or remove rows, um, then you'll start to see the information displayed. So what we can actually do here is uh, we're gonna do a we use some preset information. I think that's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. So you can see because we've selected preset information, you can see that it comes up here with a list of things that we can display. So if we want to display the jockey name, we can do that up there. And then maybe, so we would label this jockey, you can see. Um, and on row two, maybe we decide to put in let's put in the saddle cloth here, for example. But you can see that this is sort of formatted badly. So there's gonna be a certain amount of finessing that you're gonna to want to do on this particular section. You don't have to do it as we've done it here, you can fiddle around with things. So for example, we could change the color of the font size, we could put it in bold or not. Uh, and we can also change the alignment as well. But also there's no reason why you can't display 
multiple, multiple items on one particular row. So if you wanted to um, put the jockey over here, um, but also to display the saddlecloth next to it, um, then it's perfectly possible for you to do that. You just change the row uh, to row one. But you can see it now says uh, it's all messed up, basically. However, you know, all you need to do, therefore, is just align um, the jockey to the right. So you can see we've actually put the saddlecloth on one side and we've actually put uh, the jockey uh, in the other uh, side of the display as well. Or perhaps we just put it in the center. Because if you put it in the center, then of course that means you can add additional information on here as well. So if we put um, on row one, let's change that back to row one. And then we're going to go for preset information and we're going to go for the trainer name. You can see that's in the center at the moment but we could put that on the right. But can you see, and you can adjust the horizontal positions as well, and the colors, um, and the height of the row, and the label if you want to put a label on it, and stuff like that. You can see that you can actually mix and match stuff um, all over the place. Or maybe we just want to um, put in the uh, store drawer over there. And perhaps, you know, we want to uh, remind ourselves that that's what it is, because hilariously, I often get this uh, mixed up sometimes uh, when I'm trading. It's, it's well known in within the team that very often I'll mention the stall number instead of the saddlecloth or vice versa. So maybe you wanna do that. Um, so here, if I put in saddlecloth, you can see saddlecloth is on the left, stall number is on the right, and the jockey information is in the middle. Um, and perhaps you want to highlight uh, some of those. So I'm gonna highlight um, the saddlecloth and the stall and display that information on there as well. But let's go mad and add another item uh, below there as well. Let's put in, um, I'm just trying to think what we could do. Let's actually put in the um, highest traded price within here as well. We'll put that in the center and we'll mark that in a different color as well. So that's a bit more obvious. I don't know, I don't particularly like that color. So maybe we'll uh, just make it slightly bigger uh, to highlight it a little bit better. Or, you know, why not? it would be perfectly possible to actually put this on the right hand side and then put the lowest traded price uh, on the other side. Now you can see some of this information on the ladder but you may be off the top of the bottom of the ladder. Um, but also, and this is where displaying the information becomes really, really helpful, I'll just delete this for the moment, uh, is where you actually display stored values because I'm not gonna um, go into huge depth about how to display a stored value because we need to explain stored values probably in another video. But if you go onto the forum, uh, there are some uh, examples of how we can use this to generate things like the volume weighted average price. And what you do is you create that within the automation. The automation will look at the market, add up, subtract, divide, um, analyze whatever you want it to, and then it can report that value back into the ladder. So I think, you know, for this video, to create a stored value and put it in uh, to here is going to be a little bit too complicated and too long. So I suggest probably the first thing that you do is you actually go to the link that I'm going to include in the comments below. And that will include a link to calculating the volume weighted average price or some other thing uh, that we've already explained in great depth on the forum. And probably what I'll do in another video is uh, show you how BetAngel can look at the market, analyze things, and then report back to you using stored values. But basically, in a nutshell, a stored value will be whatever you want it to be. It could be a calculation. It could be um, information from some other part of the market. It, it could be as simple or as complex as you like. But you can create that using the automation, and then that will actually... Um, create a value which you can then put at the top of the ladder or wherever you want to. So as you can see um, there's an awful lot of information here um, that can be displayed and um, moved around, modified and put in a number of different ways and one of the advantages of um, having this information here is that it allows you to display information right in front of your very eyes when you're trading, which is inevitably going to produce much better trades for you.